So today we're going to go over how to install print drivers on the Mac with one click. This allows you to distribute this file to multiple users so you don't have to go around to you know different computers to install a print driver. Just going to go to search errorcodes.com. This is a, is a great site with you know a bunch of different features. One of the tools is an auto installer. So we're just going to go to top, click on tools, click on auto installer. This has a you know script that it will install a driver with a single click for both Windows and Mac. Which today we're just doing Mac, so we're going to click on the Apple logo, select our manufacturer, we're going to do Toshiba, enter the desired name of the printer, Toshiba one two three four, enter the IP address of the printer. And there's also an option here to default the driver to black and white. This actually does it via cups filter. So in the script, it's grabbing a already pre-configured cups file and it's just overriding that file on the uh, you know the computer. Uh, we're not going to do that today. We'll just keep it simple. Um, but there is no difference really. I'm just going to create. It has an option to download the file here, or you can email yourself the file. If you do email yourself the file, just make sure you check your spam folder. Okay, it keeps it as a zip to maintain the file extension. So we're just going to unzip it. There's the file here, and all we do is click. So uh, depending on your security settings, you might get this uh, error. It cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. So all you would do is go to your Apple System Preferences, go to Security, enter here. Look, was blocked from opening because it is not it, not from an identified developer. But we're gonna open anyway because we know it's safe. There it is. It's running, doing its thing. What it does is uh, it checks to make sure uh, you don't already have a printer installed with the same name. If it does, it deletes the printer. So you see this option, the printer or class is on exist. It's saying, hey, uh, is there a printer installed on this computer called Toshiba 1234? And if we go here to our printers and faxes or scanners, there is no printer. If you had a printer called Toshiba 1234, it would delete it. So we would enter our password. And just to let you know, as you type your password, it's not going to show you it. Sometimes people just don't get that. but it's not going to show you your password as you type it. Type your password. It's doing a bunch of things. It's going out to a server to download the drivers. It's going to extract the drivers into a folder. And then it's going to install the driver. If you selected the option for default black and white, it would also copy file for that cups and override the existing cups on your computer. Well, just the, actually, yeah, it would override the entire cups file. <clears throat> so if you look, there's our printer, and that's it.